Hi there. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a few of the applications of electrolytic cells. So, first up, we have the decomposition of copper chloride, which in fact we did on the previous video of electrolytic cells. So if you haven't seen that one, go have a look and you can see this experiment in action. Then we've got electroplating. So that's when we take a metal object or some other object that conducts electricity and we literally coat it in a desired metal. We've got the refining of copper. So when we take copper out of the earth, it's not in its refined form. So we use electrochemistry in order to get it to pure copper. We've got the decomposition of sodium chloride, which we're not going to cover today because that forms part of the chlor alkali industry, which is actually quite a big section on its own. And then we're going to talk quickly about aluminium smelting. Right, so first up we have electroplating. So in electroplating, what we're doing is we're taking ions from a electrode, which will be the anode, we're allowing those ions to move into solution. And once those ions are in solution, we're going to have a reduction reaction, coat those ions as actual silver onto our metal that we've got there. Right, so here, interestingly, the silver is being oxidized and the silver is also being reduced. So this silver electrode is the one that's being oxidized and the silver ions that is in the solution is being reduced. Right, so firstly our anode needs to be oxidized more easily than the cathode, otherwise the cathode is going to undergo oxidation. So this metal we use here, this nickel metal, cannot be oxidized more easily than the silver. Secondly, this anode is often called a sacrificial anode because all the metal, if we allow this to run till completion, is going to move off of this anode and end up on the metal. So we're sacrificing the anode, we're destroying it in order to coat the metal with a substance. Right. Then we've got the refining of copper. So what we've got there is an anode that is made up of impure copper, right? So when we take copper out of the earth, it's not just pure copper, unfortunately, there's other metals in it as well. So we've got a solution of copper sulfite, right? And then what we do is we allow the electrochemistry to do its magic so that we take copper ions from the solution and we reduce them in order to form pure copper on the cathode, right? So the reason the copper is being reduced and not the other metals that are going to form the sludge here and form part of the impurities is because the copper is simply better at being reduced. So this sludge that forms here at the bottom is made up from other metals that was part of the impure copper. And this sludge is actually quite valuable because it often contains things like silver, gold, and platinum, which are very expensive metals. Then we can move on to the extraction of aluminium, right? So when we mine aluminium, we get a thing called bauxite, right? Which is aluminium ore, uh, which means you have aluminium oxide that has rocks and all, uh, so all sorts of other stuff still stuck in there. So from the bauxite, we get alumina, which is aluminium oxide. And that aluminium oxide, we dissolve in a substance called cryolite, and that is the electrolyte we use in our cell. So the reason we use cryolite is simply because of its properties as a solvent. So this reaction takes place at in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius. 
So if you wanted to use something like water as your solvent, you'd have to keep it under immense pressure in order to actually keep it a liquid. So cryolite is really just selected because of its properties as a solvent. So it's not a catalyst or anything like that, it's just a particular solvent that we use in this sort of reaction. So here we've got a carbon electrode and the molten aluminium that forms due to the reduction actually joins at the bottom there and that forms our cathode, right? So that molten aluminium at the bottom is connected to the external circuit. So this carbon electrode reacts with the oxide, the oxygen ions that are in this uh, electrolyte and that forms CO2 gas. So this carbon electrode often has to be replaced because the reaction actually uses it up. So our products here is molten aluminium and CO2 gas. Now the extraction of aluminium is actually quite taxing on the environment because this particular reaction and the scale at which we do it takes a huge amount of energy massive amounts of energy to the extent that a lot of aluminium plants in the world actually have their own power stations. Literally their own power station just to run that aluminium plant. Another interesting thing is that in South Africa we actually have aluminium smelting plants. We get our aluminium or our bauxite, um, the ore that aluminium is in, from Australia. So aluminium ore comes all the way from Australia and we in South Africa here turn it into a complete product, aluminium. So those are just some of the applications that we have in the real world of this incredibly interesting part of chemistry, electrochemical cells.